systems engineering bridges the gap in organizations between functions like product management and the rest of the engineering organization. As a system engineer, you have to understand your customer and, under, and, and then be able to translate that and communicate that to the people that are building the product. I think of systems engineering as really trying to understand the problem or the need that exists either for my customers or in the marketplace and then trying to work to solve that need. It's the function that turns uh, vague requests for marketing, so customer needs, into real solutions. The systems engineering mentality or systems thinking is something that I believe is vitally important to achieving successful results. You have to understand the problem, get down to that core problem set, and that that, that doesn't come easy. People want everything and they want it for no cost and they want it yesterday. Systems engineering, I've found, provides a very useful way of doing that trade-off analysis. It gives me credibility to the engineering staff that they recognize the value of having a representation to management that's cohesive in organizing a group of a dozen or, or two dozen or a hundred different engineers where they're not all fighting a single battle by themselves. Uh, good system engineering applies across industries, whether you're developing a medical device or you're developing a car or you're developing a software uh, product. It really helps engineers like me to hone our craft and and really understand what it is that we're trying to do and helping the companies that we work for. I think it really serves as a best practices organization where we can pull skills from and, and ideas and, and network with people who have done these kinds of things before. So at GE Healthcare, uh, our Encozy membership and participation really helps us working across the industry to set up standards and agreements so that we can communicate clearly to our customers and to the regulators.